Hey there, stampers. Uh, this is Sherry Roth with StampTreasures.com, and today I'm here to share with you how to create this fun background on this scrapbook layout. Uh, now, I was inspired by something that I saw on Pinterest, and I really wanted to try to recreate that look. So it's I couldn't believe how simple it is. It's lots of fun too. Um, so on this particular layout, I used Whisper White 12 by 12, and then Lemon Lime Twist, Emerald Envy, and Knight of Navy. For the purposes of this video, I will be using, when I plan on using the background of the paper, or the background that we create, I will be using a different photo. So I've chosen different colors to show you, but it doesn't matter what colors you use, the, the method to get to this background will be the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm using a combination of crushed curry, Cajun craze, and garden green. So if you squeeze our ink pads, it transfers ink to the surface and you can use that. Um, for the purposes of this video, I've added a little drop of ink refill to my lid just so that it prevents me having to close the ink and squeeze. It'll just speed things up for the purposes of the video, but you do not need the ink refills. You can just use the, the ink, ink that is transferred to the lid for this when you're doing it at home. Okay, the other thing that you'll need is an aqua painter with a fair bit of water because you do use a lot of water in this for this technique. I am using um, 12 by 12 very vanilla cardstock for this demonstration. Um, and I've already done the crushed curry just to speed things along again. So what I'm gonna do is the first thing that you wanna do is make sure your aqua painter is clean. And yeah is clean. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze, and I'm hoping you can see this in the shot, is I'm going to squeeze my aqua painter and add moisture to the lid so it's really nice and wet. And that dilutes it as well. And you want to work relatively quickly and in even relatively even brush strokes and try not to go over the area that you've already added moisture to. Because we are using um, Whisper White cardstock, um, it tends to pill or break down or something if you add too much moisture. If you've got some watercolor paper that you want to use as your background, that would definitely work and you could go over that multiple times without affecting the, uh, the paper too much. And each time I dip it into my ink refill, I am squeezing it to add more moisture. The more moisture you have on your aqua painter, the better. And you can see that my brush strokes are not super even. I, I'm not too concerned about that. Um, so now I'm done with the crushed curry. The other thing that you want to do is because we've added so much moisture to that, um, you want to remove a lot of that moisture just so that it doesn't get in, all that water doesn't get into your ink pad when you close it okay so now I'm going to clean my aqua painter it's pretty good and I'm gonna go on to the next color so this is garden green so again I'm gonna squeeze my ink or my aqua painter dilute that quite a bit and then add some green So fun. It's just kind of, it makes you feel kind of artistic. I am not an artistic person. I just love to stamp and I love to play with ink. So this kind of makes me feel a little artistic. Okay, so then I've created the background and what I want to do is I want to go back and I want to add some um, splatters. So you can see here there's some navy blue splatters in there. So I'm going to use the green for that and this is kind of a messy technique. So I'm I'm gonna kind of try to protect my area here. So then I've got splatters all over my wall. Let's see here. Okay, hopefully that's okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dip, um, I'm gonna squeeze my ink, my aqua painter, into my ink pad again, get it really well inked, and then dip it in the concentrated, ah, the concentrated part of so in here to get that dark ink and then I'm just going to tap it on my finger and flick. I'll do that again. 
and you want to flick it quite hard until you get the look that you like. So I'm quite happy with all those splatters. So I'll set that aside to dry and then finish my layout. So here is the original layout. So there you go. Super simple and kind of fun to play around with. So I encourage you to give it a try. If you're looking for more inspiration, feel free to visit my blog at stampedtreasures.com. Thanks for watching.